what is going on all you beautiful people out there in the YouTube land. We are out here today with the one and only Fast Life Factory. I'll show you guys his uh, new business that he's got going on. We got a bait shop. When we get back, I'll video that. I haven't done it yet. We've just been chilling and hanging out. But uh, we found some fish. Let me show you what we're looking at. There is a ton of fish right there on that brush pile. It's just right out there. So wasn't really planned on fishing today. Just came up here to hang out. But come up here and see Fat Slab's guide service. You got to go catch a couple fish. So may try to catch dinner for the night. Um, I'll let Richard kind of tell you here what we're doing. We made a video here a while back and we didn't really do so great that day. It was a really bad day of fishing. So I didn't end up making a video out of it. But I'm here today and we're going to make a video. So we'll see what we got going on. I'm going to let Richard tell you exactly what he's doing to catch these crappie. This guy just got a uh, hair jig, tipping it with a minnow, uh, quarter ounce split shot on top. We're going to throw it to the brush pile and just float that jig and that minnow right over the brush pile. See if we can get some of the bigger uh, crappie out of there. Using a new Jinko Trick Stick Light. Dude, this thing's awesome. I love. I absolutely love this rod. Uh, very nice rod. Very well put together. This is what I use for my guided trips. Uh, I've had a, some problems with rods breaking, things like that, uh, because they get used and abused, you know, on, on a guided trip. <laughs> so does this boat. <laughs> <laughs> so does this boat. Uh, but these right here has been tested and approved by me, so that's all that matters, right? Heck yeah. Let's see if you can catch a fish. I'm gonna actually lay this down right here. I'm not gonna fish yet video so it's actually pretty windy today i don't know we've been in a cove so i didn't even know it was windy we're gonna video anyway so let's see what we can catch a fish here so you guys are watching this as i'm watching it we're gonna try to do as little bit of editing as we can here so many fish on this little pile that i don't see how we can't catch some That's a bunch of fish. Look at that, people. He's just flipping out there. We're right over the top of it, so the, tr the brush pile's like right down here. It'd be nice if we could see your lure come on the screen, but this right right here. Very hard with its wind. Got huge waves coming. Very difficult. All these waves. There's so many fish right there. I don't know that I found a brush pile that looks like that yet this year. You ain't seen a good one yet. <laughs> so my transducer's on the trolling motor. Now people are always talking about hey, we got to have a pole if it's you know, if, you, if you're fishing brush piles. Well, mine's on the trolling motor right now and I don't need a pole. As long as you play the wind and everything correct, you can get it set up and try it. Exactly, you just basically got to know what you're doing. You know, you, you, you got to play with it. Set up in the wind, get your nose into the wind, get right behind that brush pile and you're going to see your lure go down uh, I'm in pretty. We're, we're, Come we're on the top of them. Bring good, it up a strong, bit. strong wind right now. Uh, see, I'm right here at the top, right there. They're oh. active. They'll come out of that brush pile after that thing. Just had a, there he is. This small one, but you know you're on the brush pile. That's a ten incher. You know you're on the brush pile if you're catching crappie, right? Yeah. That's an eater right there. That's an eater. Perfect eating size, honestly. I wouldn't want nothing, nothing bigger to eat. <laughs> nope. Awesome. Nope, oh, get another one. Yep. There he is, coming up. Perfect, that's a good eater too. God, that's a good eater. No, he broke it. <laughs> I knew that he was gonna happen. My line. <laughs> that was a I good eater. I had a knot in my line, I seen it when I, Put the men on, I should have changed it. But that's one of them things, you know, you like, 
Oh, should I waste time? Should I take the time to change it or or not? <laughs> yeah, you should. You see, uh, you catch ten or more fish on one setup. I got one ready to go here. It. Use this one. We got we got fish to catch. You're definitely gonna need a split shot. Yeah. Uh, like watching paint dry. Uh, if you're a, if your patience before live scope from a one to ten is a, let's say a seven with fishing, after you look at live scope and learn it, your patience become negative forty thousand. <laughs> so putting a split shot on it, putting a heavier jig on it, putting whatever you can to get down there to the fish real, real fast is a must because you're not going to sit here. It's like watching paint dry. So I got to get back up and put a split shot on. Most definitely. <laughs> we like to have fun. <laughs> but he's right. It is like watching paint dry whenever you're trying to throw a jig out there and you know the fish are there. You know what depth they're at. But sometimes they do like a finesse. So sometimes they do like that bait to drop a little bit slower. But these aren't. That last one's a good one though. We should have got that last one in the boat. I should have lipped it. I'm a terrible, terrible, terrible net man. All right, so he just flipped it out there. Coming over the top of it. They're like 14 foot, the top of them. You want to come in probably about 13 to 12 foot. Stay right above them. There. A little bump. He hit it. They're still following it. Yeah, may or may not have a minnow. Minnow, no. Dude, you got this figured out. So, no pole necessary? No. Even though he has my pole. Yeah. Don't even use it. And as finicky as these fish are, Never stop reeling. Just keep reeling, keep reeling. I don't care if he follows. It, it, it. The top of the brush pile is 16 foot. He's followed it up six, I would say eight foot. Now, if he gets away from you like this, the fish is here, yeah. your bait's up here, go ahead and reel it in, throw it back. Uh, but never stop re slow reeling. Because they're very finicky. And, but if you get one of them's attention and you stop that bait, they're going to swim right back in that brush pile. So get one of them's attention and then start slow reeling. About to put a heavier sinker on because it's <laughs> dropping too slow. Oh, man, it's so windy. There, oh, there he is. Not a little good either. He inhaled that minnow. Perfect. So I'm gonna build me a off-grid facility. We're gonna build one right here. Comes equipped. Goes already. Look, check that out. <laughs> we got fresh goats. I have no idea whose goats they are. Nobody. They're the state's goats. What do you got here? Well, we got a old, big old, big ugly little catfish. Old trick stick light doing the work. <laughs> yeah, it is. That thing is bad to the bone. Don't get the motor. motor. I see the slime. Where's he at? There he is. I should have reached down and grabbed that one. That would have been a good eater. Look what we're looking hungry. at. So this is another brush pile and they hungry. Richard's spanking me. I've caught like, I don't even know if I've caught a keeper yet. I don't think I have. <laughs> He's caught like, we about got my 10 that I wanted to take home with me. Yeah, I think he did. I haven't. All right, I'm gonna try to catch another one. Oh, he got off. Uh, I was recording. Uh -huh. What's going on there? You missed it. 
or actually caught some fish. I'm on the board. I'm on the board, people. I got one in the boat, but I can't. I didn't bring my chest still to video while I'm doing it. So I'm gonna video Richard for a minute because these fish are biting pretty good. So put me under the gun. Richard is on well. He's doing pretty good. We've been out here probably an hour fishing. And we've almost got one limit. So all right, check this out. There's the brush pile. He just barely threw out like right there. He's letting her go down. That's him. Here comes the fish up. You don't want that one. You're still like two foot from the brush pile. Uh, I see that big one coming up though. No pressure. We're only waiting on you to catch one. <laughs> You bring lunch, <laughs> supper, put it all the way down into the brush pile this time. Got you guys, I was gonna say I seen the hit. Thumped it. Good one. Good eater. All right, so we caught another one. I want to catch some fish, so I'm going back to fishing. No more video for me until here in just a minute. We'll video a little bit more, but I'm going to catch a couple. Then I'll video some more. So just so you guys believe me, I am catching fish. I mean, that's a pretty good fish. Um, but yeah, I got one. I got a few, actually. Finally. Piles here. I see a lot of small ones here. I see some bigger ones right here. It's on the back side of that brush pile. That's the ones I'm gonna go for. It seems like in Grand Lake this time of year that the the bigger crappie hang on the outside of the brush. Uh, versus the inside. Versus the inside. And basically what it is, the smaller ones are on the inside and the bigger crappie don't like to be around the smaller ones. Now right, we're gonna cast right back over there to the big ones coming down about 13 foot in front of us right into the larger ones I almost as soon as I see one go for it I stop my bait let it drift a little bit and then I get an, another one I just start to up rail I don't get one get on to follow I drop it back down take it in front of her face get another one to come there he's turning his body to Position himself and nothing. <laughs> and nothing. And he ain't doing jack. That's a fact, Jack. But that's fishing. Scott's got a lot of stuff. Don't mean you're going to catch them all. We have already fished this brush pile. Let me show you guys what all actually we've actually got off this brush pile and one other one. The majority of all these fish have came off these two brush piles. We probably got probably 10, 15 in there. Using minnows. I'm actually gonna go back to fishing because two minnows are better than one. So I'm gonna get back down there. If I could do this one handed, I would. Minnow. I guess I better bait up. Well, what do you got there? Another eater. Another eater, baby. We found another brush pile. I go over here. I had one of my buddy pre fishing for bass and I found some good crappie piles and I brought him over here to show them to him. I'm getting ready to have to go home. So that's all I got for you guys today on this video. We've caught a good mess of fish. I'm going to probably take them home and clean them myself, unless Richard really wants them. And uh, probably eat them tomorrow, so maybe that'll be part of this video. So if you all see me eating fish tomorrow, well, here it comes. <laughs> but if not, that's all I got for you guys today. So smash the like button, hit the subscribe button. Until next time, go fishing with Fat, Fat Slabs Guide Service. See you guys.